Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Locker Mommy Tune, and I was coming through because I was trying to update my phone to a 4.1.2 Jelly Bean operating system for my Samsung Galaxy 2 4G phone. You know, I have Boost Mobile service, so I was trying to figure out how to do that. This was a couple of days ago. Why? Because everyone is trying to get this new Instagram application um, update so they can record video. So, I wanted to get this, but I realized that my phone was only running in a 4.0 and could not get the update. So, what did I have to do? I had to upgrade my phone myself. Um, I couldn't figure out how to do that from my phone, but what I did figure out is how to do it from my PC. Now, I have a PC. I don't have a Mac, so I didn't see anything about this personally on YouTube. Uh, maybe I just wasn't looking in the right places, so I decided to make a video on how I found it out myself. And maybe it will help someone, you know, upgrade their phone. So, from the beginning, I went to Samsung.com and I downloaded this uh, simple upgrade tool to my PC. So, what I did was I have the 4.0 operating, si operating system, which is known as the Ice Cream Sandwich Operating System. And basically, when I looked into the menu in my settings about my phone, it told me to look for a baseband version, and then it would say FL24. That is the old version, the 4.0 version. And after the update, it would say GC01. So, I downloaded this simple upgrade tool from Samsung.com, Samsung and I downloaded it to my PC. And it was right here. So what I did was started the um the upgrade tool. And right here you get the end user license agreement. You always hit the click the I accept the terms license agreement blase 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 like you normally do. You hit the next button. Then you hit um um then you'll see something that says warning. A loss of data may occur when flashing your phone. Please back up necessary data prior to flashing your phone. And please charge your battery fully before proceeding. So, I charged my battery up. And I backed up all the information that I needed on my phone. Like my pictures, um, my contacts, uh, video, things like that. Um, knowing that I could not back up my apps because I had a fear that I would probably lose all my apps as far as my games and stuff like that that I play, um, hint, hint, Candy Crush. So I was just going to have to chuck it up and just say, oh, well, I'm just going to have to start back from level one. So going on to the next <laughs> section, it said remove the battery from the phone and then put the battery back into the phone. So I don't know what this whole hokey pokey thing right here is all about. But, obviously they know what they're talking about, so I'm going to do it because I want to update my phone. So, moving on to the next step, it says to update the phone, please simultaneously press and hold the following keys. The volume down and the power key. Did that, hold those keys until the following screen appears, which is this screen right here that says a custom operating system can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications. If you want to download a custom operating system, press the volume up key. Otherwise, press the volume down key to cancel. So we know that we want to upgrade this, so we're going to press that volume up key. Next, we're going to see when the download screen appears, pre please press the volume up key, because that's what we want. We want to download the new operating system. Now this right here is where you would connect your phone to um well you would always you would already have your phone connected to your PC with the USB cable. You would already have that connected. The reason why you see this screen right here is because I've already done it and I don't need to do it again. 
So um, once this will be connected, it will just go start to download the downloading process, and that process takes maybe about how long? It took about maybe five to ten minutes, no longer than that. And once you do that, it will pretty much tell you that it has been completed. You will probably have to restart your phone, and then you will be all set up with the 4.1.2 Jelly Bean operating system. So I hope this video has helped someone because lord knows i needed the help so until my next video guys and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section below all right guys until next time peace